Hello everyone, today we will learn about evaporation and diffusivity by solving an example of evaporation. Here in this example consider a tank open to atmosphere approximately 70% filled with the liquid water. This is the total height of the tank, height of the liquid water and height of the stagnant layer of the air above the liquid. The blue dot representing the liquid vapor. Above the tank air is moving. Here the red dot representing moisture that already present in the air known as relative humidity. This moving air take away the liquid vapor with it. In the development of mathematical model, for the process, diffusive and convective mass transfer term must be considered. The mass transfer due to the bulk movement of the liquid vapor is known as convective mass transfer while the mass transfer due to Brownian movement of fluid constituent from a higher concentration towards the lower concentration is known as diffusion. The liquid vapor moving from the liquid surface to the tank opening is due to the convective mass transfer. While vapor dispersing inside the tank environment are moving with the air above the tank, due to the concentration difference is more related to diffusive mass transfer known as Fick's law. The total mass transfer is the sum of both convective and diffusive mass transfer. By following these steps, our final equation in differential form for mass transfer will be In this equation, the N is the total molar flux of both component A and B. As vapor was moving upward while air was not moving in the opposite direction of the vapor instead of this the air is moving away from the vapors so this type of problem is known as one way diffusion As we are considering only one way diffusion because the water wa molecule is moving with the air molecules and not the air molecule was coming back to the tank so this problem is more simplified. Here NB is equal to 0 for one way diffusion. And after integrating between YAI, the mole fraction of water vapor at the interface to the mole fraction of water vapor in the air, we will get this final equation. Here BT is a sickness of the layer through which mass transfer occurs. Let the total height of the tank is 10 meter, height of the liquid is 7 meter and thickness of the stagnant air above the liquid surface is 3 meter. At 25 degrees C and 1 atmospheric pressure 
the vapor pressure of the liquid is 22.8 mm of mercury and time equation can be used to calculate vapor pressure concentration at interface yai can be calculated by dividing saturated vapor pressure by the total pressure that is 760 mm of mercury in that case yai is equal to 0 0.03 Assume air have relative humidity of 50%, then the concentration of the liquid vapor in the air is calculated by multiplying concentration at interface with relative humidity, that is Ya is equal to 0.015. Parameters at 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius are Ya Concentration of water vapor in the air is equal to 0.015 YAI concentration at the interface is equal to 0.03 This is the saturated vapor concentration BT is equal to 3 meter This is a stagnant layer of air through which the mass transfer is occurred and the molar density of the water vapor rho m can be calculated by using equation of state watch my video on equation of state the rho m is equal to 0 0.041 kilogram per meter cube by using the van der waals equation the dab the diffusivity of water vapor into the air is equal to 0.092 meter square per hour i will prepare an upcoming video that how i calculated this diffusivity by using leonard jones potential soon i will upload it by putting all values in the equation the molar flux of water vapor that is evaporating per unit area the molar flux per unit area per hour is equal to 1.92 10 raised to power minus 5. Now if we consider the diameter of the tank is 1 meter, then the cross-sectional area is 0 0.785. It can be calculated by using pi d square divided by 4. And as we know, the density of the water is 1000 kg per meter cube. Molecular mass of water 18.015 kg per kg mole. So now we can convert this molar flux into the volume evaporated per day. And this is equal to 6.72 ml per day. Hope your understanding about evaporation related problem is more stronger after this video. Thank you very much.